It's a Nippon Paint Cup, the first of the three T20 series games between Sri Lanka and Zimbabwe. And it definitely promises to be a very, very interesting series. It is the T20 Internationals, and we'll take a very quick look at the two sides once again. Three changes from the ODI to the T20 International squad for Zimbabwe. New set of selectors, new captain, new era for Sri Lanka. Now speaking about captains, Craig Irvin. He was the one-day captain, not the T20 captain, at the top of the order. Strike rate of 105, best to 68. Angelo Matthews with the new ball. Straight away. First ball to Kamunukamwe. Back of a length. Angelo Matthews. Bounces down the pitch. Craig Urban and just talking about a boundary. That one has spit away for four. That's gone. That has come out the middle. That's what he's been trying to do the last couple of overs. Kamurukamwe. What a finish to the third. 18 for nine. And the batter has accelerated. What a hit. Things become easier. Things become a lot more clear and enjoyable as well. That's in the air. That's in the air and... Tamira takes it comfortably. He will be going after everything coming to come with. The last over of the power play. And the ball scooped in the air. And he's been dismissed. 26. Kamono Kamwe. And it's 37 for one. How good to have him back. Sean Williams missed the ODIs due to injury. Huge shot, huge shot, and he's been given. So that power play, which was looking very good for Zimbabwe, now very, very different. Irving's gone, just a 10 to him, 38 for two. Sikandaraza, the captain. Short shot to catch it, but it. It's got enough to get over the mid-on fielder. Cut away. Man back. Raza calls for two. He doesn't have to bother coming back because it's gone for four. That's where he's got to be. But again, Sekunder Raza, what a wonderful bit of timing. Bolden. Now... Sean Williams is indicating to the umpire and I I think there was a fielder who was moving at the time no ball signaled thick inside edge again there you go I'm not sure Sean Williams is going to be able to uh, carry on all the way through the innings. he really is struggling oh he's hit that in the air Sadira Samarawikram at this time takes it without a hassle. That's the longer boundary. It's been a struggle for Sean Williams in terms of timing and also fitness. Go the distance, but much slower with a traditional leg spinner by Vanadu Hasaranga. Sadira Samarawikram was about 10 feet in front. Sean Williams gone 14. Zimbabwe, 83 for 3. Rainbow. That one set up, Sikandaraza up to it, slaps it. Takes the boundary on, very effectively, Sikandaraza. That was a leg spin as well, against the turn, but met the ball at the right place and a massive six. Oh, ball in, he strikes back, changes the length and surprises ball, cramps him up. 
PSG, what a bowler. But possibly the mistake where Ryan Bull did was to go against the turn through the offside. He had gone towards mid-wicket. Would have been much better. But in the end, paid the price and the champion. Ryan Bull gone for five. Zimbabwe, 103 for four. Down the ground. Might split the field. It does. That's his boundary. It's 13th half century in T20 cricket and second out of Africa. And what an innings by the captain of just 37 deliveries. Goes over it off. Has he got it all? He's got it. It's gone all the way for six. Sikandar Raza using the pace, using the length. And he's cleared long off. Made it up. Made sure that he connects the ball from the middle of the bat and it has disappeared. A great start to the over. Eight already from two deliveries. Goes again. This time, taken at long off. Dusmanta Chamiro strikes, he gets his revenge. And the important scalp of Sikandar Rasa has been caught by Sri Lanka. He was able to remove them timely. Uh, getting to Pasco is not going to be easy from here on for the Zimbabweans. Well judged catch by Dustin Shanaka. The captain's inning came to an end. 62 was the contribution. Oh, that is decent. Took the early route. One bounce over the boundary line. Again on the pads this time. Another boundary behind Squalek for a moment. I thought the field had it covered. But Luke Jongwe is picking his spots. That was a low full toss. Again, pace of the ball into the pitch. They'll get a single. 12 runs off the over and Zimbabwe get 143 for five. They've got a rate of seven plus. The question is, have they got enough, Amir Sohel? Well, they got runs on the board. They have to bowl well to be able to defend this kind of a total. It's not going to be easy. It's the demand of the situation. Well, Zimbabwe's last five overs have been 49 runs and two wickets, and largely because of Rasa, 62, Bennett, 10 of 8, Jongwe, 13 of 8, and uh, 143 for five. Those are the partnerships with uh, again Sikandar Raza figuring. Katum Nisanka, back from illness, missed out the ODI series, decent numbers, average of 28. Kusal Mendis. Richard Garawa. Third man, Kamul Kamwe fumbles. It means that Sri Lanka can come back for two. Picked up. There's a fielder back. It's Wellington Masakadza who takes the catch. That man does it again. It was pitching leg and a good shot. It's probably not the meat of the bat. A good, good connection and Masakadza. He judged it really well. Patum Nisanka perishes for Sri Lanka for two. Sri Lanka two for one. Patum Nisanka coming into the side. It brings Kusal Pereira. In the air. And a couple of bounces into the boundary. Ryan Bull gives chase. Won't be able to cut that off. Oh, Jongwe doesn't start well. Jongwe doesn't start well. Fine leg up in the circle. Just helped on its way. Oh, John Gray, the lines run again. He's pulled the length back. Now, this is on the leg side to Pereira, and it's another boundary. This time, Ryan Ball. Settles underneath it, takes it. Kusal Pereira goes. <laughs> 
17 of 13 and it's 32 for two. Gets him. The field was set out. Shrine Kulu to the point that for that length, two fielders behind square for Mendes. Short and wide, went hard, but straight to the man at point. Bit of extra bounce. That is Masakatsa who takes the catch. Zimbabwe on top here. Then this goes for 17, 38 for 3. Charita Salanka. Abish in the gap at cover. Might just beat the fielder. He does. That's Adira Samaravikrama just pushing it a little bit up his leg. But thankfully for him in the gap. Oh, they're asking for a catch. They are asking for a catch or are they claiming that he's bold? Well, they're celebrating. Sadira Samaravikrama is dragging himself away from the crease. The bail is dislodged. The umpires would want to check. They're oh, not yeah. sure. Okay, roll it. Yeah. It uh, clearly has uh, bowled him. So give me the, the giant screen. Just wondering what, what the problem was, but he's been bowled by Sikandarata on the very first delivery. And the point we were discussing, once again resurfaces. Samarikrama goes for 9, Sri Lanka 51 for 4. Beautiful trip. Beautifully driven by Asalanka. Matthews picks that up. Sri Lankan team and also the fans. They need a break free shot. Angelo Matthews rose to the occasion. Six. That's important. Get it. Edge taken. It's Asalanka. Masakadza takes the third catch of the innings. Just a bit too early against the turn. A fairly simple catch to the man at extra cover. Zimbabwe doing everything right. Asalanka goes for 16. Zimbabwe 83. Sri Lanka, I beg your pardon, 83 for 5. Ball him. Doesn't stay long. Raza strikes off the last ball of his spell. More trouble for Sri Lanka. Cleverer, slower. Spun back a long way. Feet went nowhere. Caught in the crease. This is clever bowling by the Zimbabwean captain. Asaranga goes without scoring. Sri Lanka, 83 for 6. Oh, effective edge. Gave himself room. He couldn't have asked for a better result, Matthews. Cut away. That is a good shot. Authority at the top of the over. Short, pulled away, and that'll go away for four. What a shot in the air. Goes over the fine leg fielder for four. No better start to the over. Play through the offside. This will go for four. Sri Lanka needed this. to end the penultimate over such a calculated stroke 19 gone 14 needed off the last 130 for six Sri Lanka what a shot first ball in the over one bounce and four they've enjoyed that Wellington Masakadza completes his fourth catch. The idea was right. He picked up the slow delivery, not the execution, not getting the ball. 
from the middle of the bat and hence it went straight to the fielder. A good contribution from Angelo Matthews of 46. It's 138 for 7. This Manta Chimir is the new man in. And he asked him to go for it. And he has. One bounce. Over the boundary line. Much needed boundary. Inches. Inches away from victory that shot Chimera. It's in the air. Wellington Masakata was right there a couple of balls ago. They'll come back for two. Sri Lanka win the first Nippon Paints T20 International by three wickets. Chamira, you beauty. Those two deliveries were crucial. Six runs were needed and Chamira came for the rescue of Sri Lanka in this T20. What a game we had.